Welcome to the show, the best intro of the show that celebrates greatness. Show some love, man. And, and, and my next, my guest coming up, uh, this is uh, one of the youngest Ghanaians who have been selected as one of the most promising, upcoming, brilliant entrepreneurs under 30. He's just 19, but he's on the list. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and show some love for Gordon Dogby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. Welcome to the show, man. Thank you very much. I, I, I'm very impressed, you know. Um, 19 years, you've been selected as one of the top 30. No, no. One of the top entrepreneurs coming up, under 30. How does it feel? Um, it's, it's, a, it's such an incredible feeling. It's, it's, um, it's a point in my time, where, a point in my life where I'm very proud of myself. You must be proud of yourself. Very, very much so. Show him some love, man. <laughs> so, um, tell me, um, how did you end up being in this city? What, what have you been doing that sure. got this recognition? Um, I'm currently establishing an organization called Startup GH. Um, what Startup GH wants to do is to nurture the next frontier of Ghanaian entrepreneurs and change leaders. And um, it started as a school assignment. We were meant to think about an idea that can revolutionize Africa. So then I thought, why not trying to help young people using their passions? Because personally, I know what I'm passionate about. And what but is not, it? I'm passionate about entrepreneurship because yes. it's, doing business is just in my genes. It's something I love to do. And not so many young people in Ghana know what they're passionate about, mm. which is very much pathetic. I mean, you know what you're passionate about, but then not so many other people know what they're passionate about. Yeah. So I felt trying to help young people identify what they're passionate about, mm. turning it into something, possibly a career, mm. and then that would have social impact in helping Ghana as a whole. Mm. Show some yeah. love, man. Show some love. So the whole idea of a GH startup, startup GH. is to identify the youth and help sort of redirect their passion? Exactly. So they, they have to have passion for something to begin yes. with? Everyone has passion for something. We're all brought on earth to achieve an aim. Mm. Everyone is put on this earth to do something. So why would a youth in Ghana not know what has been brought to mm. earth for? Yeah. Mm. So that's do you find that a lot that there are many who don't seem to exactly know what it is they are passionate about? Yes, I mean, you, people go through the education system in Ghana, up, rise up to university, and then they graduate and they don't find jobs. Possibly because they don't know what they're passionate about. They didn't end up doing the right course that suits them personally. Mm. So now that they've graduated from school, there's nothing for them to do. And possibly they may not find happiness even if they should get a job. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very, very interesting, you know, um, um, because um, in my generation, our time, passion was not even Something a concern. Yeah, yeah, it was all about what you've been asked to do or selected to, or told to do. To do. Yeah. But I see a trend coming that more and more of you are now getting into the area of passion. Yeah. I mean, I'm supposed to do what gives me joy. I'm supposed to do something that gives me self-fulfillment. Mm. I'm someone who really wants to own my journey. So even though my mother may want me to be someone who works in the bank, that's not what gives me joy. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why I should follow that trend. I like, yeah. I like what you just said. You want to own your journey. Yes. That's a very nice sound bite, man. Show some love for that, man. <laughs> so how, 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 how have you had any difficulty explaining your journey to your parents, or they support you wholeheartedly anyway? No, no African parents who definitely <laughs> <laughs> give support. You that. Yeah, I mean, they, they, you need to communicate to them that you have a plan. So my mom is definitely not for all what I'm doing, but then I constantly tell her it's a plan this is my plan and then she supports me where she has to support me but then if she realizes that this is not going to end up in any good obviously she will tell me mm -hmm. as a concern mm -hmm. so let's talk a little bit about uh, startup gh yeah. what, when did you found it when was it started um as i said i started as a school assignment mm -hmm. and um i was a student at the african leadership academy in south africa the school's mission is to develop future leaders for africa i see yeah. how did you end up there um, I was selected out of a pool of 2,000 applications. The school selects 100 students every year. I was reading some time in the school library at Pope John Senior High School. Out of curiosity, I came across the application forms to the school in trash. Mm. Just, it was in trash? Not, not trash per se, but trash, yeah. 
it was just lying down there. The questions in the application form were very interesting questions. Mm -hmm. Like these are, what are you passionate about was one of the mm -hmm. questions. Because I'd never come across a question in an application form that would want to know your passions mm -hmm. and how you've used your passions to um, impact the society. So mm -hmm. those are the questions that made me. So you applied, you decided to apply? Yeah, I just felt the form, got my transcripts, sent it by email, and then as soon as I sent the email, I got a reply, and then I got to know that it was real. But it was just the interest, how interesting the questions were. Mm. Yeah, mm. and that was an opportunity I just grabbed. Wow. And so they, 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 reviewed, they reviewed that. Did you have to do some tests? Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it's a lot of people who are applying for mm -hmm. 100 spots in yeah. the school. So from Ghana, we were about 600 that applied, and they chose three from Ghana out of the 100, yeah. And I had an hour-long interview. And one of the questions in the interview were, what do you use a Coca-Cola bottle for? This is an interview to a school. Wow. So if you're able to ask a young person what you can use a Coca-Cola bottle for. What, what was your answer? Um, in terms of recycling, I said we could use it to sell kerosene because that's what I see all the time. Mm. So you can pour kerosene in. You could use it for sounds, like play around with it. Yeah, and that's where they got to know how creative I was. That contributed to them giving me an admission spot. <laughs> and, and the program is for one year? And it's for two years. For two years? Yes. But I spent 18 months in it. Yeah. How come you did it earlier? Um, it, it's just all part of owning my journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now you're back and you started GH Ghana. Yeah. And the idea is to reach out to more youth yes. who, who need guidance. People who need guidance into trying to mold their passions. And the aim is to get your passion, identify your passion, turn it into something that would help you, that would be eventually become your career. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, yeah. And how do people join GH Startup? So because we're still in our beginning years, I mean, we, we're just a year old. We, we've been doing this for a year. For now, we organize workshops. In a year, we have four workshops. And then we open it for just 50 people who come we invite resource personnel, experienced people like yourself, who come and give, just talk about how your journey has been, some of the values you've picked up in your years of work, and then that's what we do. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And w how successful have you been with that? Um, we've, uh, we've organized four workshops so far. Three were a total runaway success. One was possibly a flop, and that's where we learn from our failures, mm. and then all these experiences bring together to organize What, what did you learn from the affiliates? What, what did you realize? I think the, the main problem was um, how to coordinate an effective team. Because I mean, I'm 19 and I'm heading a team. So mm -hmm. I may not have all the skills needed. So constantly and every day, I'm trying to iterate to learn more skills to help me lead a good team. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So um, did you have to submit anything? We're talking about the picking up the the potential entrepreneurs under 30 yeah. what do you, do you have to submit or um, somebody just approached you and said we have realized this is what you're doing and we think you are one of them so it's, it's a Ghanaian UK based company called um, Mifi Ghana and one of their campaigns is the future of Ghana so the future of Ghana campaign is to identify young Ghanaians mm. who are trying mm. to help Ghana mm. and then they came up with a list of 30 under 30 pioneers in Ghana, yeah. I'm interested in how you made it to the list. Um, I got nominated okay. by two of my friends who felt probably I, I deserved the recognition, yeah. And that's how come I got there. Yeah. What's your educational background? Um, I spent two years in Pope John Senior High School, went on to South Africa for 18 months, and that's it. I don't think I need a degree to really change Ghana. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm doing. I'm not yet in university, but I hope to go to university mm -hmm. because I value education. No, no, I, I, because I, I, I think it's even more impressive that you're doing this now, even yeah. before you've entered university. That's why I threw that in. Sure. Wow, I'm proud of you, man. Show some love. Yeah. So what's coming up with a GH Startup? We do have um, a workshop on the 25th of May, mm. and it's limited to 50 people because we want people who are hungry to learn. It's not open to the general public. How do you select the people coming? Well, they just have to send us their name, tell us their future aspirations, and what they hope to achieve by the end of the workshop. Okay, where do they send it to? 
they send it to my email, our email, startupgh at gmail.com. Yeah. So the email is on the screen right now, and so all of you young, hungry, passionate youth, you can sell your, send, send your emails to the, to the, to the to address address. on the screen. Sure. And you have a Twitter handle? Yes. They can't hit you on? Um, startup, at startup underscore gh. Okay. That's also on the screen. Sure. Uh, I do have, um, oh. be before you continue, I brought a gift for you. You brought a gift for me? Yes. Oh. This is. Oh, wow. What's that? Uh, this is our logo. This is your logo? Yes. It's just to signify that a young person can reach out out of his or her friends and grab the star and actually change Ghana. Okay. So I should actually give this to my children. Uh, you, anyhow, <laughs> <you want to. laughs> a, a young person can actually start, you know. Obviously, it's not me. You know. <laughs> but, but, oh, but, but brilliant. Thank you so much. Sure. And, um, uh, before you go, let's get, get, get personal a little bit. You're only sure. 19. Yeah. I'm sure you have fun. It's not all oh, the yes, time. I obviously what have do you fun. do for fun? Um, sit down, eat good food, good drinks. Not, not alcoholic drinks, <laughs> but good drinks, good food. Just chill with my friends, yeah. Yeah? What about the, the ladies? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 19, man. You got to... Well, well, I, I do have a um, teenage <laughs> fan, you call it, but I, I'm careful as to the kind of boundaries I want to cross. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's, that's an important thing, you yeah. know, uh, knowing how careful you should be yeah. and keeping the focus on what you ultimately want to get to without okay. distractions. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just good to know you have a sweetheart as this. Is she a sweetheart? Um. <laughs> <laughs> she's watching. <laughs> she's she's fine, Dad. She's oh, she's fine. Oh, yeah. It's on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's on YouTube, so yeah. she, yeah. Probably, yeah. Yeah. She, I mean, she, she's made me who I am today. I mean, she, she's encouraged me all the way. So, yeah. That's beautiful. Props to her. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Um, in, in five years down the line, yeah. where do you want to be? Where do you ultimately see yourself? <clears throat> um, five years down the line, you know Gordon to be the youngest, most successful young entrepreneur and change leader. Youngest, most successful entrepreneur and change leader. Yes. Show some love, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, folks, uh, he's 19 and already has been picked up as one of the most promising entrepreneur, entrepreneurial people under 30. Show some love, man. Yeah. And stick around. Stick around. Um, coming up right after... Gordon, we have Farida Bidway in the house, another very inspiring person. Stick around, we'll be right back.